This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Imagine a scenario where a fallen protagonist stares down his impending doom. In his darkest hour, help arrives in the form of a mighty hero. Complete with awesome music and much fanfare, the rescuer then lays the smack down on the bad guys. I'm sure we've seen some version of this scene in one way or another already. Anime is chock full of them. Some have done these scenes well, while others not so much. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the top heroic rescues. You sure are glad you have those guys on your side, aren't you, eh? Feeling enraged by Yupi insulting Shoot, Knuckle prepares a punch that would demolish the Chimera Ant. Unfortunately for him though, he played right into his opponent's hands. Using his force against him, Yupi turns the battle around and puts the Pompadour Man on the verge of death. Thankfully, Killua's timely arrival saves Knuckles from his grim fate. The animation for this scene is just superb, with all those angles, graphic effects and faux symbolism. Looking at it without spoilers and having no idea of what's going to come next, you think that surely Knuckles done for. That's what makes these rescue scenes so exciting, you see. You have a slight idea that one's coming, but when it does, it still leaves you with goosebumps. I'm not the only one who thought that Knuckle was going to die, am I? Thanks, Killua. Super We all know episode 19 of Demon Slayer all too well now, don't we? Who doesn't? In the next episode, we get the epic scene of Giyu Tomioka saving Tanjiro. Since the start of the series, Tanjiro's probably been the Demon Slayer corpse's water pillar's only real friend, and Tomioka saves our MC in his time of need. Coming in at the crucial moment, Tomioka stands as a worthy opponent to the white demon who's been a thorn in the Kamado sibling's side. For those doubting Tomioka's strength, this episode puts that to rest. The powerful Demon Slayer demonstrates the difference between him and Rui by showing off his abilities before easily winning the battle and eliminating the white demon. The Black Bulls coming in to save their squad mate is seventh on the list. Finral's most important battle comes in the Crystal Destruction Battle Tournament. Practically grown as rivals to each other, Finral and Langris finally get their chance at a showdown. Now, despite Finral's brave showing, fate wouldn't smile down on him as he falls in battle to his superior brother. After the match then, Langris rubs salt in the wound, commenting that there's nothing that his inferior brother can beat him at. Before he can even finish Finral, in comes Magna, Luck and Asta. It's not about the tournament anymore now, the Black Bulls just step in to protect their friend from harm. おい。Now tell me you saw this coming. Even before seeing this episode, I knew something like this was definitely gonna happen. If there's anyone who'd pull out a last minute save of Riza, it's got to be her trustworthy partner, hasn't it? After thinking that the Colonel died, Riza loses the composure that she's known for and unloads on the homunculus. It's too bad though, her opponent's someone who wouldn't die even if you killed her. <laughs> Despite Alphonse's heroic attempts at protecting her, Things were looking bleak for the good guys when the still completely alive Mustang shows up at the last moment. Revealing the secret to him surviving his wounds, Mustang burns Lush repeatedly, unfazed by her continuous regeneration. Even the toughest of the homunculi has to have a limit to its regeneration, and after reviving so many times, Lust finally succumbs and dies in an ironic twist at the hands of a man who never fell for her wiles. Talk about David versus Goliath. Standing face to face with a giant armed with a sword capable of cleaving anything in half, Yahiko shouts his friend's name. 
Just in the nick of time, help arrives in the form of an unexpected rescuer. Badass music heralds the entrance of the strongest character in the Rurouni Kenshin universe. Kenshin's master Hiko stops the giant's powerful sword. He then shows why he's the strongest by winning the battle against Fuji. At least he paid respect to his opponent before finishing him off in just one hit. So powerful that he had to be kept out of the main plot. <laughs> Rounding out the pre-top three at number four is Ichigo saving Rukia. If this moment seems familiar, it's because you watched the top 10 Bleach moments video, then you got your internet cookie. You see, those who are a bit older will recall when times were simpler in Bleach. This moment's the pinnacle of the renowned Soul Society arc. Ichigo steps between the gigantic phoenix that's about to kill Rukia. Showing never seen before strength and a renewed resolve forged from his journey, Ichigo stops the being of pure energy right before all hell's about to break loose. The calm and confident look on Ichigo's face is the look of a strong protector, one who's overcome trials to get to exactly where he is. And this awesome moment of saving Rukia is one of his personal highlights in the entire series. <laughs> Opening our top three is a scene from the third Berserk movie. It's fair to say that Skull Knight totally stole the spotlight in this scene. We've just seen the rise of Femto in the Eclipse, but for some the arrival of the new Lord of Darkness is a warm-up for the epic moment that comes next. On entering the Eclipse, Skull Knight rides through the minions of darkness. With the goal of rescuing Guts and Casca, Skull Knight charges and leaves defeated apostles in his wake. Even Femto's attempted attack fails to phase him, and he successfully makes his getaway. His glorious charge and rescue adds even more to what's already been a gripping scene. Just who is this mysterious knight, really? Well, you better start watching Berserk to find out. At number two is the legendary Sinbad coming in with the Seven Seas Alliance at the climax of Margi's second season. Margi's second season ends with a battle against a medium that wouldn't look out of place in an actual MMO. Even with the aid of the Ko Empire, things were looking bad for our heroes as the medium simply kept shrugging off attack after attack. I told you this is an MMO boss raid, right? Before the medium can proceed with heralding the second end of the world, a bolt of lightning stops it. Who else can you count on to make a grand entrance but Sinbad, King of the Seven Seas? Sinbad and the Seven Seas Alliance launch their attack on the medium. Reunions happen and a whole plethora of cool new Jin equips get revealed as the battle against the medium takes another turn in what's already been a roller coaster of a final boss fight. Standing tall at the top of our countdown is Shanks coming in to save Kobe and ending the Marineford War. Ever seen a character so strong and badass that he stops an entire war with just his mere presence? If you haven't, then perhaps you haven't seen One Piece. Towards the end of the Marineford War, Kobe finds himself staring death in the face. Kobe just finished his dramatic speech that took all the courage in the world. However, Akainu doesn't seem impressed. He simply tells Kobe that seconds have been wasted and gets ready to kill him. Before Akainu strikes, from out of nowhere, Shanks, one of the four emperors, interferes. Stepping in and protecting Kobe, Shanks declares the war to be over. To everyone's surprise, that finishes things. That's it. 
Before I end this video, I'd like to give a shout out to this video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is one of the easiest to use and beautiful website development tools out there with 24-7, 365 day support. You can find everything in one platform. There's no need to add additional plugins, no updates and no patches. Ever. Squarespace has tons of modern templates to choose from that have already been crafted by their world-class design team. And they're created with mobile devices in mind too and employ the latest HTML, CSS and JavaScript techniques so they can be viewed on all sorts of devices and browsers. Squarespace is offering my viewers 10% off their first purchase. Just go to squarespace.com slash vinitube, that's V-I-N, I-I-T-U-B-E or just click the link in the description to sign up and start building your online presence today. So what do you think of this one then? Are heroic rescue scenes amazing or what? Be sure to comment below for your favorite saves in anime. For more content like this, leave a like, subscribe and check back for more videos soon. See you next time on Vinitube.